Today we'll have a tour of WebPlus and point out some key areas of the workspace along the way. First of all, you'll see your website is displayed in the center of the workspace. At the top are the menus and the standard toolbar. Here, you can quickly access commonly used functions such as Open, Save, Site Structure, Preview and Publish. Below the standard toolbar is the context toolbar. The context toolbar and its buttons change depending on the tool that is selected. At the moment, I haven't got a particular tool selected, so the default context toolbar is displayed. From here, you can access page and site properties, your site structure, and the site manager. On the left are the basic, drawing and properties toolbars. I'll just select an object on my page so we can see the tools more clearly. From the basic toolbar you can add assets, text frames and pictures to your site. The drawing toolbar in the middle offers a range of line drawing tools, transparency tools and cropping. Try clicking the down arrow next to a tool to see all of the tools inside its flyout. Finally, the Properties toolbar is perfect for adding IDs and anchors, hyperlinks and actions to objects on your site. Next to these toolbars are a range of tabs including text styles, fonts, quick build and assets. From the Assets tab you can quickly access content such as page layouts, pictures and graphics to add to your website. You can also store your custom assets in the My Designs category for use in future projects. The Quick Build tab lets you add content to your site from a variety of categories including layout items, navigation items, social media and forms. Simply select the content you want to add and drag it onto your page. You can then customize and edit the object as required. If you can't see the tabs at first, click the small arrow next to them. You can use these arrows to expand or collapse tabs at any time. You can also collapse or expand tab groups by clicking the arrow next to them and then choosing Minimize or Restore, respectively, from the drop-down list. On the right are the three main tab groups. These groups include the Color, Swatches, Transparency and Line tabs at the top, the Pages, Objects and Styles tabs in the middle, and the Transform, Align and Character tabs at the bottom. The Pages tab is really useful for quickly navigating to different pages in your website. Double-click a page's name to view it in the workspace. You can view, add and delete pages and master pages from here too. It's easy to change the order in which the tabs are displayed. Simply click on the tab you want to move and then drag it to its new location. WebPlus has several default workspaces which you can choose from. On the default context toolbar, click the down arrow next to workspace and select a different option from the list. You can reset your workspace and return to the original layout at any time by selecting tabs from the view menu and clicking default workspace. The task monitor tab automatically generates issues and remaining tasks that you will want to take care of before fully publishing your website and will allow you to easily address them either automatically or manually. The tasks are organized by category and by clicking the arrow next to each category to expand it you will see the individual instances to be addressed. For example, the most common task to address when using a template will be replacing empty picture frames that make up the layout of the site. If we examine one of these tasks for the object Pick 20, we will see several options. Auto Fix Manual Fix Display Hint and Display Object In this instance, we cannot automatically fix the entry, but we can display a hint and go directly to the entry by clicking the magnifying glass. Clicking Manual Fix will open the Image Properties dialog and allow us to click Browse to find a picture.
Once a picture is inserted, the Pick 20 entry will disappear from the Task Monitor tab. At the bottom of the workspace is the Hint Line toolbar. The Hint Line displays some really useful hints and tips, reports object sizes and positions, and shows you what page you're working on. To the right of the Hint Line are some zoom tools which you can use to zoom in or out of your page. Earlier in this video, I briefly mentioned the Context Toolbar, which changes dynamically depending on what is selected on your page. Let's look at this a little closer. First, I'll select a button in my website design. As you can see, the options on the Context Toolbar have changed to display a number of options dedicated to editing buttons. Alternatively, if I select a picture in my site, you can see the Context Toolbar displays several options for picture editing. These include Photo Lab and Cutout Studio, which are dedicated studio environments, where you can quickly fix, enhance, or even cut out your photos. There is also an option to edit in Photo Plus. That concludes our tour of Web Plus. To find out more about Web Plus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.